Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the Nissan Nismo GTR 2020. So this is the most extreme version of, from the Nissan GTR and this car has a little bit more power and it also weighed a little bit less than the normal GTR. Another changes made to the car are the extensive use of carbon fiber all around the car in order to reduce the weight of the car as as a standard form this car weights a lot for a supercar mainly because of the all-wheel drive system that the car has and obviously the proportion of the car also means that the car weights a little bit more as it is a kind of big car for a sports car and other things that we can see here are some aero upgrades as the rear wing that we saw at the back and also the rear diffuser that we saw those vents also help the car reduce the friction produced by the spinning of the wheels and also those canards on the hood help for cooling the engine and well what else can we say about this car well this car is developed by the motorsport division from nissan and this car has a bump in price from the original nissan gtr and it is actually like a really substantial upgrade in the price from the normal gtr as this car costs $80,000 more than the normal version from the GTR. And well, as you can see, the interior is primarily composed from Alcantara, as this material is a little bit ripper. However, it is sent as heavy as leather. And well, now in the engine, we can see that the, we have a V6 twin turbo that produces around 640 horsepower. And we can now see some really nice brakes that are really big and have a lot of cooling to stop this beast. So now we're going to take a look at the exhaust engine sound from the car. And well, as you can see, the car does drive a little bit nicely. And yeah, this car is, doesn't sound as bad for a B6. However, yeah, it's nothing out of this world. And you can see how the interior is very minimalist. And well, it is wrapped in Alcantara as we previously said. So now we will take this car out for a drive and see if the car handles very well. So now we are in Reservoir Sprint and we are going to test the abilities of this car. As always we are on unbeatable difficulty and we are going to see how good we managed to do with this car in stock form. So one thing that characterizes this vehicle is the acceleration from the car. When the R34 launch, it was uh, R35, sorry. It's the current version of the Nissan GTR. was pretty impressive for the time as it was in the low threes or almost high twos. So, oh, sorry, I just lost concentration there. And well, as I was saying, the car did have a really nice acceleration from the time 
that this car came out but sadly things have changed a lot since then and now this car has a pretty normal acceleration for the category so now we are well as you can see we managed to get a lot of position from the start thanks for to the lack of use of brakes as <laughs> we could see on the corner that I lost the car so one of the things about this car is that it really lacks on handling mainly because the car is pretty heavy and it also sent like a very well balanced differential that really make those wheels spin a lot and so now we're going to try to catch those cars in front of us and we're going to see if we can actually take them down so we have to take those corners nicely well those cars that are in front of us have a lot of more handling than us but now it's a race to the finish and we can manage to get second place, but no, we didn't. I think it was a third place. Yeah, it was a third place. So now we are actually tuning the car up. We are trying to get it a little bit lighter and have a lot of more grip than the car did. We are also going to change those wheels as they aren't very light so we are going to try to reduce the weight and also improve the handling of the car and maybe add a little bit more horsepower to the car as it will help it in the acceleration so now after that we are just going to match the colors of the cars we are going to use black and we are going to use red for the calipers and now let's go and do the next race so now we are in reverse sprint and after all the upgrades that been installed in the car we are at s1900 which means that we are on the top of s1 class now let's see if the car now handles better well, one thing that I am saying right now is that we are going to be starting on our rainy track, but we hope, well, I hope that the tarmac dries up on the next corners so that the car can have a little bit more grip. As you can see now, we are losing a lot of traction thanks to having race tires installed into the car so let's see if we can actually make something with these tires and this environment that we have as you can see we are catching them up but let's see how we can do We are breaking a little bit earlier because we don't want to get thrown into the wall. So that's why we break a lot earlier on that corner. Let's continue. Uh, well, as you can see, those cars have a lot more acceleration than we did. Too. So, yeah, that's. I don't know what kind of traction do, do they have or even if they have their slick tires compound installed because yeah they are really getting further from us so now we well, that perch didn't take the corner nicely so we're going to benefit from that now let's try to catch this Mustang now. Okay. Okay, we can. Okay, we, 
we're going to Okay, okay. I will just be harder. And we block that torch so that we well, at least could get a third position. Maybe if I didn't lose the car on that corner, maybe we will manage to get second place, but yeah, it's something that we'll never know. So, and after those upgrades that we did to the car, the car didn't surprise us actually, which is a bad thing, as there are some other cars that are better on many respects than this car, as one car that I just came to my mind, to my mind that is way better than this car is the Nobu M600, and yeah, that car is also unlockable from the festival playlist but sadly you cannot get this car anymore as it was a car from previous week but tomorrow i will give you a guide to get the Ascari KCR1 if i'm not mistaken that's the name of the car and yeah if you liked the video don't forget to give a like and a subscription as it will help us a lot and i will see you tomorrow for that guide to how to unlock the Ascari k one and without anything more to add i will see you tomorrow bye